There are many questions this evening after a shooting at a City of Las Vegas pool. It happened Sunday night at the Pavilion Center pool, which is right on Alta and Pavilion Center. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy now has the story. There were numerous shots fired here at the city pool Sunday night. Numerous shell casings were found here. City staff tell us the pool was rented out for what was believed to be a family reunion, but the I team found it was a party advertised with general admission. We've got the several investigative teams working this 24 hours a day to bring this to a resolution. We're still trying to find victims and witnesses of this crime. On Eventbrite, there's a Banks and Spanks 3.0 indoor pool bash advertised for Sunday starting at 3 p.m. The private location only given out through direct message. Tickets $30. In the rules, no verbal or physical altercations. But sources tell the IT more than 100 shots were fired, leaving at least one person injured. As of Tuesday, Metro Police Captain Fred Haas reports no arrests, no weapons recovered, and no motive identified yet as police try to piece together what happened. He heads Summerlin Area Command and tells the I team Metro received no notification ahead of time that any party was going to be held here. We have to make sure that these events are safe for not only the families that are having the events, but for the rest of the community as well. Councilwoman Victoria Seaman says the person who rented out the pool from the city of Las Vegas did it under false pretenses. We take public safety very seriously and we are going to get to the bottom of it and we're going to find out what happened so that we can make sure it doesn't happen again. A now deleted Instagram post by the organizer offered a $400 prize for the best twerker. Video from the event is circulating on social media, some of it showing alcohol, which Councilwoman Seaman says isn't allowed here at the pool. These are not the type of events that we would rent out our spaces to. These are for community family events. Very disappointed. Now you can see Palo Verde High School is next door. Now the other way, there's a playground and just across the street, there's a church and homes. We talked with a couple of neighbors over there. They tell us they thought they heard fireworks for Memorial Day. We now know that was shots fired. Reporting in Summerlin, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Thanks, Vanessa. Metro Police asking anyone with any information to please come forward. They say more than 100 people attended that party. You can remain anonymous. You can also earn a cash reward for any info that leads to an arrest by calling Crime Stoppers. There's the number 702-385-5555.